Hey, 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 yeah. Let me make sure the comments work on this thing before we get into it, though. Because sometimes you comments don't do work on this shit. Just remembered? We're live, so whatever you say, make sure it's I'm fucking legal. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up, Glenn? How you living, bro? Comments working. It's official. Hello, friends in Mayday land. What's good? It's your boy, Reconoce. Chilling here at Mayday Studios. Burns is still out on a cruise right now, sipping a piña colada. You know what I'm saying? I think he went to Haiti. He went to Jamaica. Classic Burns. I asked him where he was going, and he said he didn't know. And then I asked him where his, uh, what, what the cruise line was. He didn't know. So that's my boy, you know, just living by the seat of his pants. Gotta love it. Um, I would have been like knowing where we was going, what the temperature was gonna be out there, what the fucking language was, what the history of the country was, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, so yeah, he's out there right now, that's what's cracking. But I wanted to jump on here and uh, give a little PSA. This, this is mainly for any upcoming artists, um, MCs, vocalists, singers, fucking spoken word poets. That's what mainly this is. But if you're not one of those things, you can still stay tuned in because we're about to have a fun little ride. And I'm also going to play a record that no one's ever heard of mine. So um, you can hear that if you're into that kind of thing. Um, so that's what we're here for. Yes, uh, Jay Udell. He already laid it out for me. Danny Keys in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Keys of the Pushers. Okay. So this is my super talented friend, Danny Keys. Um, you guys are familiar with him, even if you don't know that you're familiar with him. Um, he is a member of a production crew out here in Miami called The Pushers. Um, he was also in a super dope band called Artificial. Um, that's You may or may not know if you're, you're in the Miami area or worldwide. Um, so, yes, he's kicking it with me in the studio. And I basically, this guy is so talented, ridiculous, super, super fire, 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 um, that I convinced him, um, like, yo, just, he's got so much hot beats, so much dope shit that I'm, I'm like, oh, so who else are you working with? You know, and he's just kind of like doing what he does, doing his thing with the pushers, with Mayday, um, and a few other artists. But I'm like, man, you should really like open it up. You know what I'm saying? You should do more work out there. There's a lot of artists out there that want to work, and I feel like he should open up his production skills to the world. And it took me a little while to convince him, but I think I finally got him convinced. <laughs> so if you are looking for production and you have a project coming up, you gotta holler at my dude, Danny Keys. I got you. He got you, he got you, he got you. If you wanna see some of the stuff that he's been involved with, we're gonna play through some joints right now and get you guys some vibe, um, see what's cracking. We're gonna start right here up at the top. Ah. Come on, 33 million, baby. Come on. Never ever pray don't know that one already i don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life i'll be at parties sometimes like i'll be at family parties or parties of like my, my wife's friends and shit and they'd be playing kendrick lamar radio on pandora and that song will come on like randomly and they don't know that it's like our song it's kind of fun all right anyways that's fragile um co-produced by the pushers and the beautiful keys that you hear on there is my boy danny keys let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going this one produced by the pushers oh this one this one was me and, and uh, Gianni Cash. And Gianni Cash, sorry, Gio. Yo, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to put you up on, I'm trying to put you on game right now. And Gianni Cash, come on, come on, co-produced. Now this this joint they sent us while we were on the road trying to finish Future Vintage. Danny and Gianni made the joint together and then sent it to us. We were in Greeley, Colorado, recorded it in the Clarion Hotel.
Okay, you know that, Fuel of the Fire from Future Vintage, um, co-produced by my man Danny Keys. Uh, the contact, somebody I've seen, Jason is asking for the contact. The contact is, this is the one right here, right? Yeah. It is Key Sounds, uh, hold on. It's Key Sounds with a Z, 305 at gmail.com. Hold on, I'm going to write it real quick. Key Sounds, Key Sounds, 305 at gmail dot motherfucking cam. There, it's in the comments. So holler at my dude. Um, shoot me an email. Shoot him an email if you're interested in production. Original, amazing production. The guy is sitting on so much fucking heat that it's like offensive to me as an MC. I can only do so much, people. I can only clean so much heat off this motherfucker's plate. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Now tell me this one. This one's produced by... All the time, 100% me. Woo, 100% Danny Keys. Let's get it. Woo. I love this one. Where are we at on this one? 259? That's not too bad. Verse. I love that. John. Did you do that on purpose? No, I didn't. But it's, fragile, it's actually working really good right now. Fragile, you had the first verse all the time. <clears> the first verse. Uh, Fuel the fire too. Um, we fire. always like we always go down the album when we're done. I think it's really a lot of times who finished first, like writing the verse first. And um, I'm 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 a super fast writer. Burns takes a little bit more time on the verses, and he he always whatever makes fun of me. He's like you you done already? Like two seconds after we start writing. But um but to to prevent it from always being me first, we always like go down the album when it's done and make sure the arrangement is like you know very it's same. varied. And then yeah, sometimes like, it just has to do with the song. Sometimes what we write is just better. Yeah. Like to open with or start second yeah, verse yeah, yeah. with or whatever, but yeah, when we did take me to your leader, shit was so serious with the fucking stats that we went. We had an email going that had like each BPM of every song, the key signature of every song, the what who went first, what the hook structure was. Like, yeah, yeah. You well, it's smart man. that way you don't, you know, you could it's not, you play know, with it a little bit. Exactly, and there's variety. All right, we're going non mayday now. We're going non mayday. Some of y'all, uh, some of y'all might know this little joint right here. Look how far we came. Look how far we came. Through the fire, I stood knowing we would rain. Feels like yesterday when all this was a dream. Yesterday's made back, couldn't I see our eyes were strange? Dream. 
On the corner serving all the fiends Me and a bunch of my niggas, yeah, we was all a team The system labeled as killers, but mama called the king Walk through the hall of a prison, now it's the hall of fame And people got the nerve to ask why I wore all these chains When I was booked, they had me shackled to the wall of shame So I'm just representing, better yet just reminiscing Put that on that Billy truck, I used to want the expedition Now it's bigger things, grow up and got bigger dreams Cause in my hood, they try to smoke you just like nigga team the horns on this shit. Too much, too much, too much, too much. That is Make Back Curtains, Meek Mill, John Legend, Nas, Rick Ross. That's produced by the Pushers. Uh, well, Tell produced by Infamous, Infamous, and then we played on it. We produced it with him. So shout out to DJ Infamous. Shout out to my dogs and the Pushers. Mm. Shout out to Dave Shiverton. Mm. Everybody involved in the record. That's a the, fucking monster right there. One of the greatest God. records we've ever made. Holy crap. You guys got a plaque for that one, no? We get, we did. We got a gold plaque for this one as well. Woohoo! Gold yeah. plaque. Let's take them to the motherfucking gold club. Two, two in the house. Let's keep them going. Mm. So that's that's fucking amazing. Um, all right, let's keep it moving. Uh, so if you just... Um, if you just tuned in right now, I'm basically putting y'all into some game. It's my buddy Danny Keys from the Pushers. Um, I convinced him to open up his production chamber for business. Uh, so if you are looking to get some beats, it's ten o'clock. Thank you, bitch. Um, if you're looking to get some beats, I pinned the email on the comments right there. It's keysounds305 at gmail.com. With a Z. With a Z. And um, holler at my dude. Send him an email. Um, serious inquiries only. Um, he's not looking to sign any artists. He, well, I mean, he might be, but he's really looking to sell you some beats. So if you're looking to get in the market for some fucking top-notch production for a good rate, I know how, I was just telling him right now how hard it is to get good production in this game. You know, we do we do a lot of our own in-house production with Mayday too, but like I've always had a solo career going and it's tough to find beats, like no matter what stage of the game you're at, tech finds it hard to find beats sometimes. It's hard to find good production, so it's not something to be taken lightly. Um, and for anybody who's gonna cop something from my dude, I'm gonna throw something in extra, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. Oh, oh shit, we're gonna, we don't gonna, even know. <laughs> oh shit. We're gonna, we gonna put some incentive down on it for somebody who's gonna cop the first beat from my dude. Uh, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. This is, tell me the backstory on this one. Oh man, so this record, my buddy, one of my best friends, Ralph, uh, bass pay, uh, player for the Pushers, and I, we started this record together, and then we wrapped it up with our buddy DJ Infamous. Um, it's a record, on the Vince Staple first EP that he put out, Hell Can Wait. Can wait. Hell Can Wait. Hell Can Wait, and it's called 6500. And to me, it's one of the best productions that we've ever made. I mean, all together from the drums that my buddy Dave Shiverton, what up, Dave, um, that he did, and then everything, how it all got put together, it definitely has, like, a vibe. So, you know, check it out. Let's go. Hard on the whole 
Don't drop me, cross the floor. Gangsta guy, baby, get on your knees. Baby girl, get on your knees. 6500 degrees. 6500 degrees. 6500 degrees. 6500 degrees. You would love. All right, mm. Ben Staples, super dope beat. Fuck with it, 6500. All right. Um, let's go back to Mayday Land real quick, since I speak that language so good. This is off um, Search Party. This is, com this is completely you, isn't it? This is a funny story about this beat. So I went through like a period of time that I wasn't making music, and I decided to come to the studio by myself, and I'm here making this record. I'm like 20 minutes into the record, and these guys show up. And then Rec particularly is like, yo, what's up with that beat? I'm like, I just started it. He's like... <laughs> Why don't you bring it over and finish it over here? Are you sure that wasn't Burns? That sounds like Burns. No, it was you, man. It was definitely you. This beat lasted 20 minutes before these guys were like, it was halfway done, and they're like, oh, let me hold it. All right, let's do it. And the record came out amazing. We actually took it out of his room so fast that he was still trying to finish the beat up until, like, damn near we mixed and mastered the song. Like, he was like, are you sure? It's, I feel like it might not be done. And, it, yeah, it was actually, yeah, it was already done. It was fucking done. And this joint right here is called Motherfucking Better Boo. One of my favorite joints off this whole album. Beat is fire. It was fire from the fucking first five minutes that he watched it. How he made it. another joint that I have the first verse on. I'm not doing this on purpose, I promise you. It's not just because Burns on a cruise, man. Believe me. Um, Yo, shout out to Burns. We miss you out here, bro. Hey, we miss you, man. The guy never takes vacations. He finally took one vacation. It's kind of a miracle. I feel like he's going to come back refreshed and recharged. He's one of those people you have to fight to take a vacation. He won't He won't do it. Uh, he won't ever, like, get off his grind. 11 o'clock working every morning. Yeah, he loves the grind. He loves, like, he loves the daily shuffle of making music. So, um... Yeah, okay. So that was Better Place. Um, let me see, is that song about Plex? That song is about, it's, 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 about, it's kind of about Plex, but that one, I feel like that one was, um, it was basically between Plex and Gianni. It was about the members of the band that left. That was kind of my vibe, you know? Um, and, and like coming to terms with the fact that uh, they went and moved on and, and I had to like get over feeling like abandoned. The abandonment issues when your bandmates go on to other shit. And then knowing that it's all for the better, the better good, and that if they're really your family and they're really your people, that you'll just want the best for them, and you want the best for everybody in your crew. So that's pretty much what that's about. Um, that and how would you know? They're both kind of like a how would you know is kind of like before you like come to acceptance with that and uh, better, better place, place is after. the after. Yeah, exactly. All right, so that's better place. Um, this, right. So again, if you're just tuning in, 
Uh, this is for um, any artists out there looking for production. Um, holler at the email that's pinned right now. That's my boy Danny Keys. Yo, He's what's up? opening what's up? up the chamber. Danny Keys of the Pushers. He's opening it up. Production is available for anyone looking serious. Inquiries only. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just up the ante real quick. The first person to fucking lock down a beat from my boy. Let's do it. I'm going to put the verse on there for free. I'm going to put a free feature on the first person. Now, you either got to put a deposit down on a beat or you got to lock it down and buy a beat off my dude. And when you buy it or put a deposit, whatever happens first, first person to lock it down. Uh, if you want me on the record, I will be on the record for free. So I will just throw a verse down on that shit. My and dog. I already know the beat's going to be fire. So, it's, <laughs> it's, so look. I don't have to worry about the beat being good. Just low key, there's there's one or two in there that are particularly really good for Rex. So uh, hurry up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, if those get got, I'll just have to rap on one that's not particularly good for me. But I heard I heard the initial playlist he has of beats that are open. And I'll fucking rap on any, any one of those. So, um... So yeah, if you, um, yo, you never know. He's like, you can't imagine anyone not wanting on the track. I mean, this is Mayday's Facebook Live, but you never know. You might have a song, you might not envision me being on it. I, I don't know, you know, I'm just, I gotta, I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. All right, so quick side, side note story. You, you can hear this too. I went to the fucking bank today and um, I was waiting to make some deposits. Um, and there was a dude in front of me that was cashing a check and he put a, he got like he asked for a thousand and change, and then I think he just wanted a thousand like in hundreds or something. I don't know. And then he said to the dude at the counter, he's like, "Do you recognize the name?" I guess he meant like the name on the account or the name on the card or something. He's like, "Do you recognize the name?" And then the dude at the counter was like, "Nah." He's like, "I." He's like, "I." I don't. He's like, "No, nah, I don't know." And he's like, "All right, you should Google it sometimes." He told the bank teller that you should Google. <laughs> Yo. This guy. And then he did one of those, like, I'm going to take mad long to get ready at the counter, like, get my shit together, knowing there's people in line behind me. And then he went, like, like fucking hock the loogie and shit. Like, he didn't spit it out, but he, like, made one of those noises. And I was just like, who the fuck is this guy? So then when he walked out, I asked the teller, I'm like, did he just ask you if, he, if, if you should, like, did he just ask you to Google his name or tell you that you should Google his name? And he was like, yeah, because like, people are crazy. I'm like, who the fuck was that guy? He told me his name, but I didn't know who it was. Um, but whatever. Anyway, so that's why I'm not that kind of person that would go to the bank and tell the bank teller, "Yo, Google look my at, look at that name, look at look at my name, look be my Google name. my name." And not, not for nothing, I don't know what that dude was doing, but I'm pretty sure Mayday has more fucking clout than whoever this guy was. That's just a random guess, and that's me being the little bit of egotistical that I can be. Um, but uh, but yeah, I just, whatever. I'm not that kind of guy, so that's why I say something like, "You may not want me on the track." I'm just saying. But if you want me on the track, first person to lock down a beat from my boy Danny Keys at the email that I've pinned below. It's keysounds305 at gmail.com. I will guest on the track for free. Um, you know, so just to up the ante. We got a couple more joints to play, and I got one joint to play of mine that we did together that was supposed to be on. Uh, the EP that I had cooking up before Into the Further, and then it didn't make Into the Further, and now it's lost to Purgatory right now, but we're going to play that right now, and you're going to hear it, and also catch a vibe for more of what my boy Danny Keys can fucking do. All right, All right so well, talk to me. Funny story about this song. <laughs> we were just talking about it. You might know it. Uh, it's a Mayday record, Shortcuts and Dead Ends. Mm. So I, I mm. show up inspired to the studio, and I'm like, guys, I wrote the dopest chords for you guys and I think it's gonna be a smash and these guys completely blew it off and I thought like it wasn't even gonna I wasn't here by the way I, yeah he wasn't here <laughs> everybody blew it off and then they're like yeah yeah what somebody said all right you know what it's, it's dope let's keep it we'll come back to it I'm like all right never gonna hear from that again <laughs> I show up like about a month and a half later and they're like yo we found these chords that you left over here and they're crazy and we made this crazy song from it. And I already knew it was a record <laughs> like, that I wanted to work on with you guys. And sure <laughs> enough, uh, Shortcuts and Dead Ends was born. Mm. So. Mm. Shout out Gianni Cast. Shout out Infamous too, who helped Burns and I basically structure the song the way that it was, the, the formatting of it. The, we initially were going to rap on the drop of the beat and then, you know, do an intro or a hook on the keys, not the opposite. And Infamous was the one who steered us in the direction of like, yo, you should flip it around and do a drop. Oh, Jan says, what's, what's up? What's up, Jan? How are you? <laughs> Good to see you, or I guess. Good to 
Instagram. Yeah. Good to Facebook Live you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so then shout out to Infamous for that because without his help, um, we for, as far as the lyrics go, it would have not been the same scenario. You know what I'm saying? So shortcuts and dead ends. Where do I? Start? I had more lives than I could count. Had one too many all night. I had surfing these crowds. And it's hard to remember names when every day you wake up in a different town. So be careful what you're wishing for when you think no one's around. Got a first contract on that contact. I still blows my mind. How to became one, then became worldwide. Three million on this one. Man, I went too far. Gotta go back to the start. Raps in the car, beats in the garage, or rats in the walls. Never knew one of the crew other than ours. We on course. Not with a few detours. Along the way, I lost faith in my idols. Found a wreck, damn near suicidal. See, we both seen things that don't make a thief sing like an angel in a church revival. So we did a few shows and we did a few tours to which our own personal survival. This for my shortcuts and my dead ends and my dead friends and my demons and my lack of feelings. This evening, I've been meaning to do this. Been busy making these hits. See, we just some neighborhood kids trying to live our dreams out in this bitch, and I probably won't stop. Till I'm rich And I know that sounds selfish Spend so much time with my muse That my girl's always jealous In the end I'm probably gonna have some regrets But they won't outshine my attempts When it's all said and done We ain't here that long Better get your feet wet There's a song I didn't have the first verse on. Um, also, that's become one of our favorite songs to play live. We encore that for every show just about now if the crowd is into it. And that song kind of, if I have a shitty show or I'm not feeling the vibe or I'm just like, or there's no, there's not that many people in the house that night and that happened a few times to us on this tour and I was sober for it all. So I was seeing every little aspect of every little show that we did. Um, playing this song would at least kind of like feed my soul at the end of the night and give me a good vibe to go off stage with. So I'm thankful for this song. I love this song. It's Burns' favorite Mayday record of all time. Um, and fun fact, Infamous also told us um, when he was giving us like, you know, kind of vibes on how to write the record and like how to format it. Um, he gave us, you know, um, Outkast, uh, Sp Spodio, Spodio, Diopi, Dopalicious, whatever the fuck. Spodio, Dopalicious. Thank you. Spodio, the, that fucking high guy can say it better than me. Spodio, Dopalicious. Um, you know how he says, uh, I think his big boy says, go ahead and marinate on that. Like he has that like end line. That was kind of like a, Get your feet a yeah, reference. It was like, yo, we want you to like, you know, end your verse kind of like that. And Burn came up with, you better get your feet wet, you know, which was dope and works really good. Um, so yeah, that's Shortcuts and Dead Ends. Super, super dope. Now we go on to Reckland real quick before we play this unreleased record. For those of you that are hanging around for the this rest cool of this hang. live stream. A lot of like, you know, unreleased shit. Yeah, man. Pretty you know cool. what I mean? Fuck. We're going through some catalog, telling some stories. Uh, my boy Danny Keys. Um, if you're looking for production, if you if you know someone as well, if you have a friend who's an artist looking for production, they can't find beats. People hit me up on Twitter all the time about this. Can't find beats. They're looking for beats. They're rapping on other people's beats like I do, um, you know, and they're looking for original production. Um, tag them in this video. I know I'm going to leave this video up after we're done going live. Tag them in this video. I'm going to leave the email pinned on here as well. So if you're looking for production or you have a friend who does music, who's looking for high quality production, holler at my boy, Danny Smoke A Lot Keys. <laughs> Uh, check the email. It's key sounds with a Z on the end, 305 at gmail.com. Um, here's another one. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is this one's climbed up to be one of my favorite joints. Um, you made this here? You yeah, made this? We, yeah, you made this. Here. So, Burn had this. Burn is the guitar riff guy, man. Co produced by Burns. Yeah, he, he definitely has 
the fire guitar riffs all the time and then some of them i'm just like all right all right just move and then <laughs> fucking we did this record and to to this day it has a vibe because it's like a grungy vibe you know it has that yeah. rickenbacker bass and mm -hmm. it has that that real feel where the instrumental always like resonated with me but um yeah, you, you sure you you did it justice. Mm, yeah. I love the I love this record. This one is one I wish I had a video for, but I don't. And I wish I, I went out now. I wish when I was writing it uh, and and recording it and getting it mixed all the way up until the album got released. Um, I was like, I don't think anyone's gonna fuck with this song. This song to me is like a song that I think is just for me, and I think it might just go over people's heads. And I, I just the way that I structured the hook when I was doing it, some of the people that were coming in out of the studio were, were critiquing the way that I was doing the hook, and they weren't sure if it, you know, whatever. So I was just a little uneasy, and I just, I knew I loved this joint, and I was like, this one's for me. And um, it ended up being one of the most like commented on songs of the album. It's called Through the Rain. <laughs> She stands in a place that nobody can sympathize or travel to Agonizing avenue Caught between a rock and hard place What you rather do? Pain inside her body and her mind just to dabble do Hard to overcome and just too much to try and saddle through She can feel it in her bones, broke down battle boom. I can hear it in her tone, she don't want to rattle through Pieces in her being, but the rams are fire animal Phenomenal woman that is worth to Maya Angelou Breathless, why is it that I am being tested? Like the world is checking if I just head for the exit She whispered to herself and nervously chewed her neck Everything about this here is changing my perspective Wreck this situation here is kinda reckless Got us out in limbo keeping Zelda in the nexus Justice, maybe a cliche but it's a test It's trying to see if it can break you down But if you handling the pain Then you'll be damn sure to make it through What Pop said but we keep pressing on, got the bill stretching on More stressing, I'm a mess, but I keep pressing on Keep pressing on, I guess that they bleed flesh and I'm leaking all on the deck But I keep a smile right up in their face Cause if I'm handling the pain Then I'll be damn sure to make it through the room Like mom said but we keep pressing on, get the bill stretching on More stressing, I'm a mess, but I keep pressing on Keep pressing on, I guess that they bleed flesh and I'm leaking all in the deck But no rain and never stopped us yet Um, did Danny also do only one? No, he didn't. It does sound like it could be him though It is like key, a key riff, a piano riff That one was done by Chris Knox Um but uh, but yeah, through the rain. That's one of my fucking giants. Um, let me see. I saw another question I wanted to answer. High ground? No, it wasn't higher ground. High ground was Beatnik. Um, that's also one of my favorites too from that album. Uh, the jump drive USB bracelets. That's what you're asking about, Mark Anthony Garcia. It's at wreckshop.com. W R E K shop.com. Um, I'm throwing in the hard copies that I discontinued of Sunny Winter One on there. Um, so, if, well, in there, I mean, a hard copy of it with the jump drive. So go to wreckshop.com. I still got I still got a handful of them. I still got a bunch of them. So uh, production on further, that was um, Llama Beats, George Spitz. What up, George? Shout out to George Spitz. My uh, dog. I'm working on some heaters with them right now, too. Those are my boys. Um, so, yeah, so that was Through the Rain. Um, so another jammy by my boy, Danny Keys, co-produced by Burns. Um... So yeah, if you're looking for tracks, I need you to holler at the email that I've pinned, keysounds305 at gmail.com. First person to lock down a track with my boy, Danny Keys. I, I throw the feature on there. No extra charge. Um, free feature yep. from your boy. All right. Um, uh, just park on the street, like next to my car. All right. Or a little Fucking love you guys. Um, I'm going to play this one joint here. This joint is called, well, it was called Self Check In when I um, was working on, on it. Side, yeah, it never got released. It yeah, is with my boys. Um, no, 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 no. Um, no, 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 not on the fucking side. It was supposed to be on. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Yo, we're live, man. We're live. It was supposed to be pre. Um, Pre into the further, I was doing an EP called Pressure Point, which I still may or may not do. And this was the intro of that joint. Um, and it was basically like right after the intro, there was the first joint that we played, you know, the first full song. And it was this song. Did you produce this? I did. You and Keith with, no, together? I, no, just you. Just me. Okay. We did this over when we were at uh, M Spot. 
and um, shout oh, out to right. Ted on the trumpet, and and then Ralphie. Ralphie definitely helped me out on the record as well a little bit. Uh, but yeah, man, one of the you know it's on one of the records, one of the first batch that I made, but it's like one of those records that never gets old. You know, it's a, mm. it's a solid record. Yeah, I I listened to it recently too, and it's one of those songs that like it's very at, for the moment. I was writing it for the moment, what was going on in my life. So a lot of it doesn't really pertain anymore. Or the shit's already happened. It was right before I was gonna marry my my girl and shit. So I, it's like I not I don't know if I'll ever release it like this or maybe just remix it, do it different version or something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna play it to you. It's called Self Check In. Um, so yeah, just to clarify, yeah, you can email email for contact and then. Um, you know, he'll give you the rates and all that shit, and you go from there, and when you lock it up, you lock it I up. Got, I got a private link, so I'll send it to you guys whenever you shoot me an email and inquiry, so uh, holla. Boom. All right, so let's play this track. It's called Self Check-In. Um, hold up. Let's play it. I just want to see if you were looking for me. I know this world gets cold every second. That's just how I guess it'll be. But I just wanted to see you were looking for me I know this world is crazier than ever can We all just sit in some peace They got us waking so that we can lie Everything for sale and don't know why Save a dollar but I'm spending five They use my blind against me, never mind They got us fighting just to breathe the sky Supervised because we're getting high Medicated, we don't want to die Wings been clipped so that we never fly They got us checking out the lines alone No exchange While human beings talk their drones Use your change And fathers leave their kids to bone It's the same How cool we are to run our foes We place the blame I'm icing on my broken bones It's just a strain And pawning everything I own It's just a game So don't you try my mobile phone is on a silent mode. And then it See, I'm heading to suppress all my stress. Get this mess off my chest. I tattooed your request. Inked all over my flesh. So when I look in the mirror, I see my destiny left. Reflection now is so clear. I ain't seen the best of me yet. Good evening, friends and family. Now you get a discount. To hear my poems upon the pommel and to see the dismount. Racking up a gang of smashes. Hope you keep the hit count. They're all uncertified, but we know what this shit's about. I try to let it slide off my back so it don't hurt bad good evening miss one ticket to pressure point first class i heard y'all got away with the pressure how to divert that see i could use a bit of relief from this planet earth fast about to wife my girl i hope this suits us for the honeymoon because i ain't trying to see us sending up one of them couples who bitch and bicker over weed and liquor in a stuffy room but truthfully i never thought i'd love someone as much as you bang let me lift up on them bangs my ankles out of the rain my ship is cruising the same parisian and breezing your bangs and everything that we claim has got a smile in the frame too bad my grandmother can't come see you pick up my name i need to let you know now with you i feel peace in my soul now we've reached the point it's time to go now but if you hear me call when you're alone i just wanted to see if you were looking for me I know this world is cold at every second, that's just how I guess it'll be If you were looking for me, I'll be here if you need I know this world is crazy, girl, they never can, we all just sit in some peace Peace Boom! Damn! Took me back, baby. Nobody's ever going to hear that again. Damn, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I love the beat. I love the hook. I just, the verses and the format of it, I would change. And, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Let me find out. What's up, man? Hey, little doggy. Chillin'. Uh, so maybe. I still want to do pressure points. So, and it does work for pressure points. So maybe, maybe... Maybe it does. Maybe, maybe sense. it does come out at some point. Um, yeah, the vibe on that one is super dope. And I was sad that that project didn't come out. That song was... Go that song went with Higher Ground... Um, Knuckle Dragon. What else was on there? Hard produced Dragon, by Ralph. Dragon. Knuckle the Dragon. A. Hey, look at this. It. It's a producer palooza in this bitch, man. <laughs> and I got a music video coming for that one. Animated. 
It's going to be fucking crazy. Um, so, yeah, that, that song, along with, like, three or four other songs, was supposed to be uh, Pressure Point. But I think I'm still going to try and do Pressure Point at the top of this next year. Um, like an EP, at least digital only or some shit. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish it, figure it out, talk to Strange, see what's cracking. Um, so, yeah, man, that's what it is. Thanks for tuning in. Um, when this replays, if you know an artist that's looking for production, holla, 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 tag them in the fucking joint, hit up the email that's pinned there, um, fucking get some tracks from your peoples. My boy Danny Keys of the Pushers. It's been a pleasure playing you a bunch of records. We're going to make some more shit right now as we fucking speak. Speak in this bitch. Yeah, we'll, show, um, we'll show you some videos later of what we're working on. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Um, Burns is coming back next week, so we'll be back on do some lives and keep it moving for the next shit. Signing off. Check me out at uh, underscore Danny Keys. Um, yeah, and I'll see you out there. Boom. Holler at keysounds305 gmail.com underscore Danny Keys at the pushers. I'm your boy Recognize. You already know what it is. It's been a pleasure. Holler.